Hello, folks. All right. So last night it occurred to me, I really, really wanted to make an episode about dinosaurs for whatever reason. The only problem is, what's there to blog about dinosaurs? Well, I actually, I mean, you read the title, so you know what the main idea is going to be, but I actually did come up with a few topics to talk about. Um, now, I'm not exactly sure about this, but this episode and the first episode, the Momo episode, might be the only two ep episodes that aren't remakes of older videos I used to make. So, now we're doing this from scratch, so, you know, again, I'm not sure, but I believe that, I don't remember ever making a Momo episode or a Dinosaur episode before this, so, we're going in this blind, guys. Alright, so, before we get to what the color of dinosaurs were, let's talk about what category they are. Um, what are they, reptiles? Not exactly, because a lot of them had feathers, I think, or at least some of them. And, uh, so, okay, they're birds then, right? Well, not all of them flew. So, okay. Let's talk about what the animal categories are real quick. They say there's about five, but there's actually more than that. There's like eight. Let's see. There's uh, the traditional five. There's the mammals, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and fish. Okay, but there's also crustaceans, insects, and spiders. Insects and spiders do not get fused into the same category, okay? They're, they're, they're both two separate things. So, now there could be a ninth category if dinosaurs are their own thing, but I'm not, I can't say for sure. I think they're either birds or reptiles, or maybe they're both. No, you can't be both. I don't know, okay? I'm sure somebody knows out there, but I don't. So, since we don't know what animal category they actually were, we probably don't know what color they actually were. They could have been pink for all we know. And it's kind of rare to see an animal with such an absurd color like that, but hey, you never know. So, there aren't that many animals that are pink. So, yeah. Alright, now what killed the dinosaurs? We all know this, but it was a meteor. And, uh, but it was a big-ass meteor. Like, we all know that, but how big, um, over triple the size of the United States? Yeah, um, okay. Uh, so, that, that's, uh, pretty freaking big. And, this was back when... All the continents were connected to each other, so... Is that what caused the continental drift? I don't think so, but that's not the point. So, um... The, the teaser trailer for The Good Dinosaur, remember that movie? Said that the asteroid was six miles wide. Bull crap. If it were six miles wide, they wouldn't do anything. That'd be way bigger than that. Now, I read a, I read a book that said it was larger than San Francisco... You better believe it's larger than San Francisco. It's larger than the freaking United States. So, yeah. Um, and it has a name, by the way. It's Chicxulub. That's kind of weird. But anyways. So, that's what killed the dinosaurs. And it was huge. And I once... Like I already said, but... But... I once knew a guy who was like, uh, don't worry, it was like this big. My ass is that big, dude. It, it'd have to be way freaking bigger than that in order to cause an impact. Like, it was so big that it caused the atmosphere to be all weird and crap, so. And. You know. Alright. So Chicxulub was pretty freaking huge. 
Now we're almost done here, but I want to say one more thing. Yeah, this is going to be kind of a short episode, but I, I will try to make the next episode a, a little, kind of longer than this. So, but anyways, so. T-Rex is a, considered a cannibal, apparently. Well, if it eat it, it eats other dinosaurs, and it's considered a dinosaur, but it's only a cannibal if it eats other T-Rexes. Which, I'm not sure if it did or not. But speaking of T-Rexes, though, I once saw this documentary of a T-Rex that... Sorry, my nose is itchy. Um, I once saw a documentary about a T-Rex that... got holes in its lower jaw or something, and it couldn't drink. So any anytime it had tried to take a drink or something, it, the water would just come out of the holes... And so it died of thirst because it couldn't drink. And somebody I was watching doc the documentary with, she was like, that's just sad. I mean, I guess it kind of is sad, but it's a freaking T-Rex, dude. Why do, we, why do we feel so compassionate about a dinosaur? I mean, they're assholes. Uh, I'm just kidding. They, they have to eat other animals to live, so it's not like they can help being assholes. But anyways, okay, I know, I know I said that would be the last thing I was going to talk about, but I actually got to talk about one more thing. When, when exactly were dinosaurs discovered? The bones. In that same documentary, I th or I think it was the same doc documentary, they said it was discovered in 1902. That seems a little recent. So, well, and I read a book that was like, oh, well, Dinosaur bones were mistaken for dragon bones when they were discovered over 2,000 years ago. Okay, so was it 1902 or over 2,000 years ago? But then I, what I googled was the first dinosaur bones were discovered in 1819. Sorry. So when the hell were they discovered? Make up your mind, people. Whatever the case, they were discovered probably before I was born. Well, duh, Jurassic Park came about before, before I was born, but that's not the point. So, yeah, alright, well, I guess that's all I have to say for now. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.